Hello guys, my name is Hugo, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about a very useful feature in DaVinci Resolve that not many people actually know about. It's been already about three months how I entirely switched to DaVinci Resolve and my many friends are in process of doing the same. I want to talk about cases when you collaborate with other editors or assistant editors which are usually working remotely, mostly right now, how to send footage or project without losing data or applying compression to your footage, cases when you need to send a project to colorist and you'd like to preserve quality and most likely even to send original footage for best results, cases when you need to archive your footage but you don't want to lose metadata uh, but still cut selections and maybe cases where you want just to transcode selections. So DaVinci Resolve has thought about all that and created a tool called Media Management. Let me show you where it's located and how it works. So, we're in the Venture Result right now. So we have this uh, timeline and uh, we'd like to maybe trim it. We have uh, footage from different cameras. It's, it's from Ninja, Atomos, it's MOV. This one is uh, MXF from uh, Canon C300. This is uh, red in RAW. We're gonna trim it. This is red again, red RAW. MOV from Alexa and some red. So we basically trim those files and uh, we know that the rest, the, the rest that we cut we don't need it because it's just trash. We want to keep our selections and we don't want to waste our hard drive memory, you know, we don't want to waste our storage and we'd like to keep those. So if we go to file and we find here media management we click on media management and the menu pops up. So in this menu we can see that we have three tabs entire project, timelines and clips. So entire projects. For those cases when you'd like to share the project you're working on with your editors, uh, maybe assistant editors and you'd like to work within the same software and uh, you'd like just to transfer and copy all, all the files you work with. For instance, you put in a timeline all the footage you like and you're trying to send somebody uh, who's going to maybe chop them up or trim them or make, make, maybe polish them a little bit, you know? So for those cases, you can just click on the entire project and you can copy all the med media that you used or you can copy only use media, which uh, media used on, the, on your timeline. What you also can use, you can copy and trim use media. For this one is basically, we have a timeline and everything is streamed there is going to copy the way it's streamed. So it's, gonna, it's not going to copy the whole file that you, uh, you're using. For this scenario, you need to use this one. And uh, this you can uh, adjust frame handles. It's like each uh, selection is going to be added a little bit of space on the side in case you want to make or add a transition. And as you can see, the current size of the files that we use was supposed to be 22 gigabytes, but because we trimmed them, it's only 4 gigabytes. Basically, it saved us 75-80% of the footage of the space. And uh, for those cases, we just started and trim. If you if you chose copy. It means it's going to save it in this exact same metadata. So it's going to preserve all the quality. So if we have uh, ARI uh, MOV, it's going to be ARI MOV. If we have uh, Red RAW, it's going to save it in Red RAW. If we have, for instance, ARI RAW and Blackmagic RAW or any file, you know, if it's a MXF from Canon or MXF from Sony, what doesn't matter what file is this, it's going to copy in the source file but trimmed. That's great about it. If you want to transcode it, you can click on transcode and basically all the files you can choose uh, video format you want to transcode. For instance, I'd like to QuickTime, Apple ProRes, and then just gonna transcode. And you see the file size has changed because it's gonna convert all this file to it. And the same thing, we can transcode all the media or we can transcode only used media or we can transcode and trim used media. If we go to timelines, uh, with timeline is pretty much the same. 
unlike an entire project, it's gonna save the project and the files together. And for, for timelines, you're, gonna, you're just gonna work with the footage you're working with. And uh, my favorite ones probably is clips. Uh, I like clips a lot because that's how I usually archive my footage, how I preserve uh, the same quality. For instance, I have the same. I have a timeline, I cut all the different footage, and uh, I'd like to archive them. I'd, I don't want to keep uh, all the files I have because they, they, they're heavy, you know. And I, I, I just want to trim them and have them the way I trim them. So I make a selection and I go to media management again. And here in clips, I can just use select, use selected timeline clips. So those files that I selected, it's going to work only with them. And with them, I usually choose copy and trim used in the C. It was supposed to wait 16 gigabytes, but it's gonna wait only two gigabytes. Isn't it great? Same thing, you can do copy all media, copy only transcode, and you can actually transcode all the files as well, if you want, if you'd like. What's great about using this tool is that for instance, even when you process the footage through delivery tab, it pretty much transcodes it. And by using the media management tool, you can preserve source quality with all metadata, but still trimmed the way you like. And even when you work with the raw files, you still can trim footage and save them in source format. The only raw format it doesn't trim is Canon Raw Light, but it works absolutely fine with Red Raw, Ari Raw, and of course Blackmagic Raw, and many others. And if you're gonna try to do that with any non-raw files like MXF, MP4, MOV, and etc., it won't be any trouble trimming them. When I found out about this tool, it saved me tons of my time and made my workflow easier and more efficient. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your time. Bye.